Hello and welcome back to TGE TV and more specifically welcome back to another episode shall we say of my watch talk series which only started one episode ago with this watch but we're not here to talk about this one anymore I've rattled on about this one too much we are here to talk about two modern Rolexes so I get loads of questions asking I want to buy a new watch I want to buy a brand new Rolex which are the best ones to put my money into um, I want them to hold value, I want them to go up in price over the years, bloody blah, 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 the usual kind of stuff. So, with me here, in each hand, I have two of what I think are the best modern current Rolexes to put your money into. Okay, so I got these, I think, three weeks ago. I got them both at the same time. I paid sticker price for them, and they're both sealed. Well, they were sealed until I got them out for this video. Um, so, first up. In there we have the Rolex Submariner so this is the 116610 LV a nice snappy reference there but it's the Submariner and it is the green Hulk as it's affectionately known so I'll get that little bezel protector off there we'll do some glamour shots of it but there we go that is number one so we'll just leave that there for the second made a mess there haven't I Oops. a numero deux in fact I think this is the wrong box for it so I need to go back Oh, no, there we go. So, what some people don't know, actually, I'll go and get it, is these watches come to the Rolex dealers in these little travel boxes, and then the dealer puts it into these boxes. And sometimes they'll shove it in the wrong one, which they have in this case. Anywho, second watch up is the Rolex Deep Sea Deep Blue, or D Blue, I believe its uh, proper name is. But here we go, it's got the bezel protector on it as well. Let's get that off. But here we go, that is watch number two. So as I said, I bought these three weeks ago. Uh, sealed, still with the stickers and, and all that garb on them. Retail price for this one is nine, I should know, 9,150 for that one. It's pretty repulsive actually, now I've said it out loud. Um, and retail price on the Submariner, let's do it like this, it's a lot more friendly, isn't it? Retail price on the Submariner is £6,600. So there's quite a price difference between the two of them. And as you can see, there's a bit of a size difference as well. We've got the Submariner, that's a 40mm dial, and we've got the Deep Sea, which is a 43mm dial. The Deep Sea is obviously for deep diving. Um, and the Submariner is for kind of just leisurely swimming. Although having said that, the Submariner is rated to a depth of 300 meters. So if you're, if you're managing to bust one of these going for a swim, then you're doing quite well. Let's put this little pillow back in there. Wonderful stuff. Uh, and then the deep sea obviously is very, very deep. So that goes down to 3,900 meters. So that's over 10 times more depth rating than that one. So very different watches. Uh, and as you can see from the side actually as well, there's a huge difference in side profile there. The deep sea is a bit of a monster. Um, I'll start with the deep sea, give you a little bit of chat about that. So this watch is, I believe, quite a good place to put your money because, again, like the Sea Dweller I picked up a couple of videos ago, it's quite an odd watch because Rolex actually introduced this watch in the middle of the year and only online, which they never usually do. So it's a very, very odd one. Oh. Soz about that, hitting puberty still. Um, so this was actually to commemorate a film James Cameron made in 2012, whereby he took a vessel 11,000 meters under the sea. Uh, so Rolex in 2014 announced this watch in the middle of the year online to commemorate that. So what they did, they took the standard deep sea, which is black dial usually, and they put this kind of color graded blue to black kind of dial on it, which I think looks really, really cool and it's a nice, feature over and above the usual deep sea, which in its own right was very popular. Um, so yeah, they've been made for, well, a few years now, a couple years, and I believe, rumors on the grapevine, that these are going to be discontinued. I don't think this was meant to be a production watch for years and years and years, like a lot of their models. So um, yeah, it's a bit of an oddity, and it's got a very nice green bit of text on there anyway. But um, around the side there, you've got the depth gauge. Depth gauge? It's not a depth gauge. It's a gas escape valve. Um, which you're only really going to need if you go down to depths that are probably going to kill you. So absolutely useless, but it's cool to have. 
And then moving on to the Submariner, there's not as much of a story behind this other than some of you may remember the previous shape to the Submariner. So the ones before, the ones that had the ceramic bezel like this one, they made one with a green bezel and a black dial. That was the 50th anniversary Submariner. It came with bigger markers and a green bezel. And those have gone absolutely bonkers in price. I've got one, uh, I've had it for since 2012, I think. I paid four odd K for it at the time, and that wasn't a good price, I overpaid for it. Don't know what I was doing. Um, and they're about 8K now, so that's done quite well in value. Uh, and then when they released the ceramic version, they brought out this all green one, so green bezel and green dial. These have been in production for five odd years, maybe more, uh, but again, like the deep blue, Rumours on the grapevine are that this is going to be discontinued pretty soon. I would imagine at the next sort of watch unveiling, um, I don't know when that is actually, not very helpful. But yeah, as soon as they announce this being discontinued, this thing will rocket in price. And also, it just looks really nice. The green is absolutely amazing. In the sunlight, obviously there's no sunlight in here. It looks amazing. Anyway, this is probably one of my favourite watches Rolex do. Uh, and I'm going to hang on to this one. I'm not going to flip it, unlike everything else I have. Um, so that is pretty much about it. But let me know in the comments anyway, which one would you take home with you? Which do you prefer? Do you like the Submariner or do you like the Deep Sea? Let me know. So back to money. I mentioned earlier the retail prices on these ones, 9150 and 6,600. I think I remember that correctly. So what should you be paying? Because these are already trading at over retail price already, even though they're not discontinued, they're production run watches, but they're already trading over. So what should you be paying? What's a good price? In my opinion, anything about 7K or below for one of these is half decent. You wanna be paying late 6,000s, and obviously you wanna be paying sticker price if you can. I got very lucky with these. Um, and on the deep sea as well, anything below 10K is quite good, uh, but you wanna be paying below nine and a half if you can. Um, but I suspect, possibly, partly due to this video, um, the supply of these might run out. Uh, and people always ask me where to buy. I buy a lot of my watches from Goldsmiths, um, but if you wanna buy a pre-owned one, you don't have to buy brand new. Um, Chrono 24 is quite a good place to look on the app store. The sellers on there are trusted. There's a kind of a verification process on Chrono24, so you're not just gonna get sold um, a biscuit with the word Rolex on it, you will get a proper watch. Um, so all the sellers, they have to be kind of verified and all that stuff, so you're absolutely fine on there. I would always advise going to see the watch and paying in person if you can. Uh, just avoids any kind of admin with the watch going missing. And don't be afraid also, I mean, the, the pound's crap at the moment, um, but what I've done in the past is I've got watches from Europe as well when the pound was slightly stronger Feel free to take an easy jet flight 50 quid 80 quid whatever Get over to Europe and buy your watches there because sometimes they are cheaper But obviously the pound's been ruined by brexit and all that stuff. So that is obsolete for probably quite a while now Anywho, I hope that was useful. I hope you found that interesting um, Let me know in the comments as well what you want to see from me next do you want to see some higher end watches? Do you want to see more expensive stuff? Do you want to see cheaper stuff? I suspect a lot of you will want to see bits and bobs that don't cost an arm and a leg like these because it's not particularly useful. Not everyone's got thousands to go around blowing on flashy rubbish like this. So my next video is going to be a cheaper watch, a lot cheaper, probably about, I was gonna try and do some maths there, below 200 quid. Okay, so I've bought three watches below 200 quid that I think are really, really cool, and I'm going to do a video on them next. So if this isn't in your budget, then stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye, bye, bye.